Hi all, Planet Side Agent here. Today I'm going to talk about the uh, three paint can gasifier stoves that I made. And uh, to start with this one here, which I got the original idea from a YouTuber. And uh, what he said, <clears throat> well this is, you know, as we all, I don't know if any of you know, but take a uh, unused quart paint can and a uh, Progresso soup can for the inside. Anyway, I did, saw a guy and he recommended uh, to build this. He said that eight outside holes here, half inch, were good. And on the inside of the can, eight half inch holes at the bottom of the can. And then 16 quarter inch holes across the top. So I tried that and uh, started to burn it. And uh, his original didn't call for a grate in the bottom, which this one has one made out of hardware cloth. And um, so I tried it, and it really didn't work very well. I don't think it sitting on the bottom of the can without the grate. It wasn't getting much air. So I went ahead and I drilled a bunch of holes in the bottom just so it would get more air. And it worked a little bit better, but really wasn't that satisfied with it. <clears throat> so I went ahead and uh, made a grate out of hardware cloth put it in the bottom and that that seemed to work a lot better it kept the kept the fire up off the bottom and it gave more airflow but even that I wasn't that satisfied with it so I decided well let's try a, a try a different one with more holes in it this time so my second one is right here and for him I went ahead and added holes uh, I put 13 half inch holes on the bottom of the paint can and then on the inside bottom of the Progresso can I put 10 half inch holes and at the top I left the uh, 16 quarter inch holes. I also added a grate to the bottom of it and uh, didn't put any holes in the very bottom. So this one seemed to work a lot better. But even then I wasn't completely satisfied, especially after comparing it to my uh, solo stove, gasifier stove, which I'll show you that. But here, it's the small one, and it had, uh, what it had is uh, 13 half inch holes across the bottom, and on the inside for the gasification it had 18 3 8 of course it took more because this one is actually a little bit wider than the Progresso can so anyway 18 3 8 inch holes and it has a, a grate at the bottom <clears throat> and also it doesn't have any holes but it has slots four slots for air so the air comes in through here and then through the slots to feed the fire so I thought I think I'll go with bigger holes so what I did was, everything the same, same bottom here, I had 13 half inch holes. I added some more holes in the bottom to get more ventilation. Probably can't see them down in there, but I added uh, 12 half inch holes at the bottom. And then for the top of the can, for the gasification jets, I added um, 14 3 -inch, inch holes. And uh, this one worked really well much better I think than the other two although the uh, the second one with more holes and the 16 jet works pretty good almost comparable with the one with the 3 8 inch holes this is the 16 quarter inch holes versus the uh, 14 3 8 inch holes and uh, it seemed to it seemed to work a lot better so this is and then of course I put a a grate in the bottom made out of hardware cloth. Now the hardware cloth is not not going to be that great of a grate. I don't know how long it'll last. I noticed one of the original ones had um, starting to fall apart a little bit. They're just not that hardy. I'm going to look for something else to use for a grate. Some people have used um, gutter guard mesh. Uh, imagine if you could get a hold of a stainless steel hardware cloth that might work better. I might look for that although I hear it's kind of expensive and the quantities I need. <laughs> I don't know if I can afford to 
you know, the minimum I'd have to buy is probably too much, but I'll, I'll check into it. Okay, so that's the basic stove. And then for a pot stand, I had two different variants. On the first crack, what I did for the pot stand is I got a, uh, a large can that usually comes of tomato pay or tomato, uh, stewed tomatoes or a large can of pumpkin mix or refried beans size can and it fits perfectly in the top of the uh, paint can so it doesn't slide around. So what I did with that was I drilled half inch holes around, cut the slot out, and then this is obviously too big for a lot of pots like my little stainless steel Ollie Camp pot. This is about the size of a uh, Nalgene bottle. As you see, that's not going to work. So I needed some kind of trivets. So what I did, the first crack, I went out and I had one of those political yard signs that have a metal frame. And I cut those and bent them over. And then I cut slots in the... Uh, Can, so these would lay flush, two of those, and there, it went like that, and now this guy works perfect, so any, I can put smaller pots on there if I need to, okay, so for the next, next one I decided, well maybe these are, these are kind of big and heavy, I wonder if clothes, um, coat hanger would work, and sure enough, I made the next stove, in fact the next two stoves I used the coat hanger, for the for the trivets, I mean the uh, the rest of the stove. The windscreen's the same with the with the holes, half inch holes, and the slot cut out to feed it. So there, these are again when I cut out the groove, I tried to get it so it was flush. So if I did put a bigger pot on here, it would uh, it wouldn't rock. So like a, a little larger paint pot. So anyway, and that's. Uh, that's the design of, of the pots, like I said. The nice thing about the Solo Stove, which is obviously a better design, stainless steel, its, it's windscreen is narrower and it has these hard the stainless steel, so it's pretty solid. So this one will fit probably about any kind of pot or cup you want to put on it. And also it nests on the inside, which is very nice. And it's, a, it's really an excellent little stove. But that one, those are kind of expensive, and these are dirt cheap. You can use stuff from around the house. <laughs> so anyway, uh, the other thing you can do now for storage, for packing it up, you can just throw the little trivets will go in here. If you want, you can you could probably stick your matches and fire starter and any other goodies you want in here and use the original paint can lid to seal it up. You turn them upside down, but the pot stand fits inside and there you have a nice compact cheap little unit. So anyway, that's that. I did burn test all of these, obviously, and there you go, your nice uh, paint can, inexpensive paint can gasifier stove. And at the end of this uh, video here, I'll uh, put some video of, uh, of a burn test that I did earlier on one of these stoves. Uh, the video is not that great because I was holding the iPhone by hand and jumped around, but you know. What can you do? Oh, I do do all my videos on my currently on my iPhone. So, anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. Oops, addendum number one to the video. I forgot to mention that when I cut the bottom of the paint can out so that I could uh, pound the uh, Progresso can into the top of the paint can, I go ahead and hang on to this and use it kind of as a, a ground underneath on top of the ground to uh, helpfully prevent scorching the ground if, 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 that, if that would be a worry. Or the other thing is, 
I'm going to keep it and use it. Uh, if the ground's a little cold or wet, I would like to think that it would help keep some of the moisture from coming up out of the ground and you know mixing in the air and not and uh, hurting the combustion. So anyway, that's I hang on to that and that can be put when you on top. Put this in a bag and away you go. Okay, I'm going to test fire the stove. I've got it uh, loaded up with some wood and a uh, cotton ball that's been soaked in uh, Vaseline. Okay, I'm going to set the stove on top of the bottom that I'd cut out from the uh, paint tin. That hopefully will keep this uh, stump from burning. We shall see. That was part of the test. Okay, let me get this <coughs> fired up. Well, I think I'll put the Here's the pot stand. I'm going to put that on and get that set up. There's the little tivets. Oops. Sorry, I'm going to have this on a tripod, so it's just kind of awkward. Anyway, so let me dig out my matches. There we go. I like matches, and everybody uses lighters or ferro rods, but you know what? Matches work darn good and they've been around for hundreds of years. Pretty much foolproof. You don't get them wet. Anyway, it looks like it's starting to burn there. I'll uh, pick this up when it gets really going good. Then I'm going to put a pot on it and try boiling some water. Okay, looks like it's starting to go. I see a little bit of the gasification in the jets there. I'm going to go ahead and throw the pot on. Let's see how that works. Ugh. Got two cups of water in there. It's running. There's your gasifier stove made out of a paint can. Cooking away. Now these things are supposed to be smokeless, but it does seem to be throwing up a little bit of smoke. I don't know if it's the wood I'm using or what. So. Anyway, you can see the I think you can see the, the gasification jets in there. So Look, see a little steam coming off the water. Let's see. Anyway. Back again. Well, the fire's burning good, but it's say it's thrown up some black smoke. I don't know if it must be the wood I'm burning. It's uh, most of it's branches from a flowering plum have out front. But, uh, well, you know, it will burn and it will boil water. If you look closely in there, you can see the jets coming out for the gasification, the secondary burn. You hear the water boiling. See. Oh, it's getting close. I didn't put a lid on it. I'm not really. It'd probably boil quick with a lid on it, but I really am not looking for that much accuracy. Oops. It's whipping out here. Some more wood on here. Oops, sorry. Okay. There's your boil. Yep. Got the wood gas in there burning, so burning pretty good now. I'll have to. Uh, See how this compares to my. I do have a solo, a mini solo stove. See if, what kind of difference that makes in uh, two different types. Anyway, there's the burn test. <laughs> 